Okay, we're with L Melissa Leonard, who's a realtor from Philadelphia. She's not famous, but she has broken into Sundance and is going to give us tips on how you can do it too. Well, I think the biggest thing is to talk to everybody. The friendlier you are, the different producers, directors, writers that you meet for the films, and then they, if they like you and think you're fun and have you know can bring an extra person and. They bring you in, and then here you are, you know, at a celebrity premiere and meeting the celebrity and taking pictures and having a good time, and they think you're in the business and you're not. And so you said you started working on this in October. Tell us what you do. Well, first of all, I did all the tried all the regular lottery systems and things like that for tickets. And I, but I was here last year, and everybody that I met, I had all their phone numbers, and I contacted everybody saying I was going to be back, and if they thought of anything they could put me on the list for, or invite me and my friends to. You know that I would be there and just kept on everybody to find out which lounges were going to be available and what they were going to have and where they'd be. And how many lists did you get on this year? Uh, I got on a lot. I got on a lot of different lounges and not even so like much ten. Lists. Like I was able just to, when I would see them here, then they'd say come tonight and I put you on or I got you through or yeah, I would say probably at least we've been here since Thursday. Probably at least ten things I've been to. Amazing. So you kind of work the security guards and the people who might not you know, be the ones who people would ordinarily talk to, and um, you talk to them? Not as much the security. No, I don't think it's them. Some people do that, and I see the girls that do that. I don't think it's really that. I think it's more that you be people in the business, and they can bring somebody in with them, or they can, or they know somebody, or they are working. It is their lounge, and they can invite who they want. So I think it's more of that. So you said that you have accidentally hung out with which celebrities during this trip? Uh, Kristen Wiig saw her at her premiere party. Um, I was at the 10,000 Saints dinner. Um, what else did I go to? I went to a couple of the McDonald's lounge and I saw Kevin Bacon. I was talking to him. I was with Jack Black here. Um, what were you doing with Jack Black? Well, Jack Black saw me when he met me and then he remembered me the next day when he met me. And he was talking to me and having this great conversation. It was nice. And then I was at a couple of the Chase parties that I got invited to the overnight uh, movie premiere party and I got invited to the one at Chase that was for Ryan Reynolds movie. Um, I forget the name offhand. And you hung out with the Wu-Tang Clan? No, oh, and then yes, I went to One Oak and someone pulled me on onto the stage and then the next thing I know Wu-Tang Clan came in and they said stay here with us and they had their after private party and I was with them, you know, for like another hour dancing just with their friends and hanging out. And what's it like when you get in the VIP VIP area? Well, honestly, at home, everything's VIP for me, so it's common, but here I know it's really much harder, so it's fun, but it's not anything I'm not used to from what I have at home. I mean, I get into bottle service and all that stuff. I'm at front of the lines. I mean, I have very good connections at home, but I think here they do make things to be so tough, and I think it's just a matter of if you're a fun, nice person and appreciative person, and I'm always appreciative on everybody, you know, anything that anyone does for me here. Okay, great. Thank you, Melissa. Congratulations.